Hello friends. Today I am going to begin a new chapter. I am going to talk about the basics in ophthalmology for undergraduates and also for the postgraduate beginners. Today we will discuss about what is ophthalmology, what is the anatomy of the eyeball. Ophthalmology it includes six branches of medicine. It includes anatomy of the eyeball, the functions of the eyeball that is the physiology. It is the biochemical reactions that are happening in the eyeball that is biochemistry. It is the pathological diseases in the eyeball that is pathology. It is the infective diseases in the eyeball that is microbiology. It is how to treat the medical conditions of the eyeball that is pharmacology. So, ophthalmology covers all these six subjects in what we study in the first two years. Now, we have to add one more thing in this that is the preventive aspects of ocular diseases that is social and preventive medicine as well as the surgical aspects of ophthalmological treatment. So, ophthalmology covers all these branches. So, when you are going to learn about ophthalmology, it all begins with anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, microbiology, pharmacology and ends with social and preventive medicine as well as that is the surgical aspects of the treatment. Today, I am going to tell you the simple way of drawing a eyeball. The simple way of learning a anatomy of the eyeball. Whenever you want to draw or remember about the anatomy of the eyeball, you should think about the number that is the number 3. So, when you think this number 3, you are always going to draw or remember the anatomy of the eyeball to perfection. As you all know, the eyeball is made up of three layers. So, we have begin with this three first. Three layers. The first layer or the outer coat of the eyeball is otherwise called as the fibrous coat of the eyeball. So, the fibrous coat of the eyeball, I am going to draw it here, the simple anatomy. So, I am going to draw like this. So, I have drawn two semicircles or half circles. So, in this, what I am going to do is, the posterior portion, I am going to make multiple openings. So, this is the outer fibrous coat of the eyeball. So, this includes, one is the cornea, the black of the eye. This is the white of the eye, that is the sclera. In the sclera, posteriorly, you have multiple openings. This portion of the sclera is otherwise called as lamina cribrosa. So, we said that there are three layers. I have drawn here the outer layer, that is outer fibrous coat which is having cornea in front, the sclera behind. In the sclera itself, you have multiple openings that is called as lamina cribrosa. So, there are three parts in the outer fibrous coat of the eyeball. Next, we are going to learn about the middle vascular coat of the eyeball. So, I am going to draw the middle vascular coat. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to draw this middle vascular coat. I am drawing this middle vascular coat in red line to mimic a vascular, vascular lining of the eyeball. So, this is the middle vascular coat. So, as you see here, there are three portions in the middle vascular coat also. One is the iris. Next, you have the swelling here, that is the 
ciliary body posteriorly we have this choroid so the middle vascular coat is also having three portions one is the iris in front ciliary body in between choroid posteriorly so this is about the middle vascular coat now let us see about the inner neural coat of the eyeball so i am going to draw this inner neural coat so i am going to draw this So I have drawn the inner neural coat in green color. This has three portions. One is the epithelium of the epithelium of the iris. Second is the epithelium of the ciliary body, and third important thing is the retina. as you as i said there are three portions in the neural coat that is the epithelium of the iris epithelium of the ciliary body and the retina you must be wondering why i have included this epithelium of the iris and ciliary body in the neural coat the retina as well as the epithelium of the ciliary body and the iris they have a same origin that is the neuroectoderm so one portion is differentiating into a retina the other portions are differentiating into the epithelium of the iris and ciliary body that is why i have included this here in the inner neural coat that is the retina of the eyeball there are about 1.2 million nerve fibers that are arising and these all nerve fibers they exit the eye through the lamina fibrosa okay they exit the eye through the lamina fibrosa like this all this 1.2 million that is 12 lakh nerve fibers they exit the eyeball and they together form the optic nerve optic nerve of the eyeball next coming to the contents of the eyeball contents of the eyeball before going to the contents of the eyeball there are three compartments in the eyeball you should know what are the three compartments in the eyeball so before that i am going to draw a structure like this here and i am going to suspend this structure from the epithelium of the ciliary body like this now you can see there are three compartments in the eyeball one compartment is here the second compartment is between this iris and the lens the third compartment is here so you know that this first compartment which lies between the cornea and the iris is called as the anterior chamber it is called as the anterior chamber the compartment which lies between the iris and the lens is called as the posterior chamber it is called as the posterior chamber the compartment which lies between this lens and the retina it is called as the vitreous chamber so the eyeball is divided into three compartments anteriorly it is anterior chamber middle you have the posterior chamber and posteriorly you have the vitreous chamber now you should know what are the contents of the eyeball 
the contents of the eyeball is also three in number. You have the aqueous humor. You have the aqueous humor. That is a clear fluid that is occupying the anterior and posterior chamber. That is called as aqueous humor. You have the vitreous humor. Vitreous humor. It is a jelly-like substance. When we are young, as our age increases and we become old, this gel becomes liquefied and it, this also becomes a fluid-like thing. So that is the second substance. The third substance already we have drawn here. That is the lens, lens of the eyeball. So the lens of the eyeball. So this lens is suspended or it is hanging by the attachment of the zonules, attachment of zonules to the ciliary body. So today we have learned about the anatomy of the eyeball and its relations to number three. The outer fibrous coat, middle vascular coat, inner neural coat are three in number. The outer fibrous coat is made up of cornea that is a black of the eye in front. We have the sclera behind. Within the sclera, posteriorly we have multiple openings that is called as lamina fibrosa. So, uh, so there are three portions in the sclera or uh, outer fibrous coat itself. The middle vascular coat, it is having the iris in front, ciliary body in the middle, posteriorly we have the choroid. The inner neural coat, it is also made up of three portions that is the epithelium of the iris, epithelium of the ciliary body and it is the retina, the most important structure in our eye. The eye is divided into three compartments that is the anterior chamber between the iris and cornea, posterior chamber that is between the iris and the lens, you have the vitreous chamber between the lens and the retina behind. So that is the vitreous chamber. There are three contents or things that are present in the eyeball. One is the aqueous humor occupying the anterior chamber and the posterior chamber. The vitreous humor occupying the vitreous chamber. And these two things are separated by the lens and its suspending ligaments that is called as the zonules of zinc. So today we have learned about the simple anatomy of the eyeball. I hope all of you can easily draw a anatomy of the eyeball whenever you are being asked and this will be very very useful for you. Thank you. We will see in another video soon.